once I've checked in, um, let's see, Explorer Van Team, vlog number eight, I think. Uh, I'm in Fort Bragg at the end of Glass Beach. This is, um, I wasn't here before. It's really quite beautiful. Of course, it's closed and it's empty, so I'm being naughty and I uh, took some of the hiking trails over to the spot. It's really kind of nice. Uh, I'm not doing really well. Uh, quarantine is getting to me personally. I'm exhausted emotionally and really miss hugs and people and freaked out by touching anything and pretty much spending a lot of time in the van. It feels really good to be outside by the ocean for a little bit. My son, who is in Minneapolis, which is about 2,000 miles away from me, is in a lot of trouble. Um, he's really suffering and, and getting into having some problems right now uh, that are pretty major. And I am really worried about him. I don't know really what direction to drive in. I really want to go there. Like if it was normal times and everything was not coronavirus right now, the first thing I would do is jump in my van and drive there. Uh, but Minneapolis is a city and uh, my ex-husband and his family are really maniacal and ruthless and uh, they've already threatened to turn me in to the authorities for breaking the stay at home order if I go there which is pretty fucked up, but that's, you know, what I deal with. Uh, so I'm going through that right now, uh, having a hard time being motivated to my work routine and my health routine and my working out and hiking and I'm a mess, it's really bad. Um, I spent most of the day yesterday just crying for a good 24 hours it's hard to imagine being really depressed and sad when I'm here but this definitely is helping it's better than any drug or alcohol to be by the ocean and to smell the sea air and the waves uh, so yeah thinking a lot about other people and what they're going through seeing a lot more posts on social media about the sickness in and closer at home, uh, taking friends, not just celebrities and uh, people dying. It's interesting, I'm not thinking very much about the economy. It seems so secondary to me. I feel like it's gonna be effed up no matter what just thinking about the human race and people suffering and the amount of fear and yeah the fear is worse than any sickness and what's going on in our world right now is perpetuating and fertilizing so much fear and uh, I try to operate from a different kind of place we all experience fear, we all experience troubles. It's something that unites us as in humanity. How we deal with it and approach it is really different and it takes so much of my spiritual practice to like try to step out of it. I am not doing a very skillful job of managing my fear right now. I'm sending crazy emails to my ex-husband and his family. I am eating to, to feel better and not because I need sustenance. I am hiding under the covers. I am not answering the phone. I'm isolating, uh, literally as in not reaching out for help or talking to enough people. But that's today. That was yesterday. That is this moment. And uh, I got up this morning and meditated on doing the next right thing, uh, adjusting, reaching out to friends and support people and 
gathering myself back up to figure out what the next right thing is. So I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm driving. But just for today, in this moment, I can find a little bit of peace. And just stay present. Smell the sea air. It's that kind of salty and, and, and it's humid and it's raining. And the ocean is so beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous here. Stay safe, people.